Hello Aquarius, the water barrier. I'm Noelle with followtheplanets.com. My website is new and up and running and you can follow me on Facebook as well, Follow the Planets. So Aquarius, your ruler Uranus is retrograde until the 14th of January in the new year and uh, you know, Uranus is about propelling humans into the future through shock and surprise. Um, it's about future technology, future science, discovery, innovation, humanitarianism, social consciousness and social awareness. And he uh, wants you to build in your home and, and who knows what will happen out of your home over the next five years, Aquarius. Uh, Uranus is very unpredictable. You don't know. He doesn't want you to know. You'll never guess. Okay, so so things could get different um, and uh, strange and unique and uh, in your home and um, and be very innovative, just like you like. Um, so with his retrograde until the 14th, he wants you to review your home and, um, you know, who knows where it'll go, but review what you like and what you don't like and what you want to be futuristic, um, what could be innovative out of your home as well. Um, and uh, it's intellectual. It's a very intellectual thing out of your home, but yet it's still stable and reliable with it being in Taurus. So it is uh, what you're used to doing on kind of a reliable, uh, strategic method kind of way. Review that and see what could shift and change um, and not so regimented. Um, you know, it's more explorative and out there. Okay. Uh, quirky, quirky. Aquarians can be quirky. So kind of quirky uniqueness about you. Um, so first we have a solar eclipse on the 14th of the month. Uh, solar eclipses are final. It's a new beginning that is bold. There is no turning back. So this new beginning is perfect for you, Aquarius. This is in the area that you rule that is about groups, humanitarianism. It's about um, institutions, social awareness, the future, future technology, future science, um, anything to propel us into the future. And it's very, very intelligent. It's very about the mind and being a new beginning with the mind. So this new beginning is, is also expansive and it's about the whole world. It's, um, for, for um, philosophical as well. So this new beginning needs to be communicated in these groups. This works very well with you, Aquarius. And what's awesome as well is that this communication is in great alignment with communicating some action, how you're going to take action in communicating and communicating means many different things. So um, take a look at my page on all the things that communication involves and how you can take action in communicating even with this group that you could have a new beginning with that's totally in alignment with your humanitarianism energy that's intellectual. Very exciting, Aquarius. Um, and then we have a full moon 
on the 29th. This is a strong full moon. It is in Cancer. Cancer rules the moon. So it, there's an ending, something in your home, domestic world, something um, that involves security, feminine, the family, and it has to do with how you function each day. Something is ending in how you have your schedule set up, how you organize your files, how you um, get your schedule worked out and what you're doing each day. It has to do with employers and employees and it has to do with your health as well. So something ending in this service type of area, it's how you serve. Something is ending, but there's also a, um, there's an opportunity here with your ruler and something that had happened before um, is creating, this ending is creating an opportunity out of your home that's innovative and building into the future. So think of that, of what happened before is very domestic related. Okay, Aquarius, very exciting. Uh, this is a great solar eclipse for you. Uh, it's on the 14th. Take advantage of its energy to work well, very well in, a, in alignment with who you are. Okay, Aquarius, uh, have a great December and I will see you in January.